Hello. Hello there. Welcome to number 14, Answer Us Place. This is where we, um, when we were writing the film, we started off writing it in London in our office. And, um, and basically there was a lot, too many distractions in London. And, you know, it's, it's difficult writing with uh, the internet and cell phones and poncy blackberries like the stupid media types we are. Um, going off uh, at regular intervals and so eventually when we were writing Hot Fuzz we said we have to get into the country and get out of London and uh, switch our phones off and switch the internet off and that's exactly what we did we came to this little flat in Wells which the marketplace is just down there oh dad <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay. see what I mean this is the flip chart that we did for Hot Fuzz and we haven't actually seen this uh, since we kind of like wrote it. And um, as you'll see, there's just an enormous amount of information. I think when we started this kind of, um, one of the first things we did was pulled a lot of ideas of things that we wanted to do and things about kind of the, you know, where we grew up and kind of what we wanted to do plot wise with the film. And so, you know, there's just a, uh, I think it's, it's interesting that the first page is basically going through the murders. <laughs> How many different. We were straight in there. Straight in there, the first thing is crime, witnessed by angel, accident, fatal accident, unseen by angel, disappearance, woman, hoodie, accident to angel witnesses, cops laugh it off, going straight through the cliches immediately. Nick is pariah, sense of doom. Nick has realisation about killers, decides against telling Danny, attempt on his life, goes to Frank, angel goes it alone, uncovers cult at midnight, angel's presumed dead, Danny lets him go, angel returns, Thanks. avenging angel. See, it was all kind of there. That's the last half hour right there. Quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think it was into, there you go, Sanford. Yeah, yeah. We are trying to figure out all the right, you know, all the various prof professions of the village. Um, trolley factory, that never... There's quite emerged. a few things here. Yeah, the, the, the Chinese chip shop, that didn't make it in either. Oh, yeah, we had an idea that they would also be fairly uh, sort of xenophobic and there wouldn't be, you know, they'd, they'd get rid of a Chinese chip shop because it wasn't in keeping with... Uh, yeah, Things. chip chips in man mandarin oil, not That's good. It, yeah. <laughs> That's so the the Chinese family running the chip shop were kind of like thrown out on their ear. Well, Sanford, more stuff. Approximately five thousand population. This is look at that. Jeez, oh we procrastinated God. a lot. <laughs> no, it's good. We just tried to kind of like I suppose it was like having our own version of Sim City. We tried to create our own little world. The Rose and Crash. I just want to ask this: Jets Barber's porn. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I think that's because the gents barber that I used to go to was where he always used to have like a little um, oh, yeah, selection yeah. of porn and sort of like naughty calendars. Oh yeah, here we go. Angel flees to London, stops at services. High noon moment, goes back alone. And that would be like the thing of like, you know, Gary Cooper going out of town and going, I've never run from anything in my life. <laughs> so I love the idea of like Simon's character doing that in Heston services. <laughs> I love this. Whoa. This is funny. Epilogue. Nicholas is the sheriff of Sanford. Ambiguous fascist nod. <laughs> and I thought that was funny that at the end of the film, I like the idea that Nicholas Angel, after being the most liberal cop, in the last scene he's got black gloves on, a leather bomber jacket, you know, sort of, uh, oh, you yeah. know, sunglasses. He's turned into the fascist Avenger. Exactly. It's like he's become Charles Bronson in Death Wish. We did want it to be slightly dubious, the fact that he was, they were so keen to go and pick up some hippie types. <laughs> <laughs> Just put the, put, the, put the accelerator down and go bust the mask. It's, it's, it's funny actually looking at this, when you look back at the Shaun of the Dead uh, flip chart, we, we really were six years younger because there was all things like Edgar is gay written on it and all bootylicious and things like that. This no, seemed like... Serious. Serious, pretty much. Oh, that was interesting. I don't think we ever... Yeah, we tried to have it that the NWA was 13 people, so it was like the 13. I don't think that... I mean, I suppose there's that probably... Yeah, I think there's probably is 13 people around that table. Oh, these are things, yes, is it reasons for punishment. These are some of the reasons of what the NWA would um, kind of punish their sort of people for. So we've got bad Amdram acting, lousy reporting and typers in the newspaper, the gypsy encampment, double parking, do-it-yourself pornographer, supplied flowers to, flowers to a rival town. That is, um, that did have, you know, just ended up why, why they killed Leslie. Somebody's Fine. Xmas lights up too early, making it look like a bordello. Oh, yeah. I like that one. Carnage! Oh, yeah, there we go. Carnage. As well as all the people that die in the film, you, you hear of other people that have died that the cops kind of have, um, you know, when they're saying about, oh, people have accidents every day, there was a whole thing in the script of um, 
Ben, uh, ben Fletcher fell on his pitchfork the other week. It. That's still in there. But there's a thing about Gary Butcher his dr- drown, drowning in a drowning in septic, septic tank. tank. And Somebody got Ron, the... Ron Spencer getting his cravat caught in the mulcher. <laughs> but we wanted the idea that there was that this was just the tip of the iceberg. This happened all the time and people were constantly sort of dying in horrific farming accidents. And just assume that nothing was right. Local, local crime. crime, sheep rustling. Sheep rustling, that's a good Your one. Bestiality. Common but rarely prosecuted. Undisciplined beekeeping, that's a good one. Um, JCB accident, farmer kills wife. That happened for real, didn't it? Yeah. Wasn't that from the papers? I think so. Oh, here's, this, is the, this is the comparison between Angel's theory and what the truth is. Yeah. Um, so you, yeah, so you got here the kind of thing about the t- council town planner and then the being terrible actor and annoying wife, which is, then became kind of Martin Blair and Eve Draper. Getting ages wrong. I think that was a bugbear that, like, I seem to remember that my mum had once had a, the wrong age put in the paper. Maybe only by about two years, but I think sort of it really bugged her. She brought it up this weekend. Did she? Yeah, she said to me at the, pre- at the premiere. <laughs> ah, there you oh, go. Yeah, Look at yeah. that. Nicholas Angel. And of course, because it's Simon, I draw my traditional peg widow's peak. <laughs> what I call the peg peak. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the character breakdown for Nicholas Angel. This is all this stuff kind of turns up in the opening montage, his, his bilingual, you know, when he's speaking to the, to the Mandarin couple and uh, the fencing and the, uh, the riot training, the, the MPA, uh, the MPAA record, all this, all this was, is the judo, all yeah, represented. Yeah. Even more. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Uncle was a he's policeman. Fr- you're, you're, he's frowning even in cartoon This is form. the expression I, Edgar made me do. I think you'll see <laughs> the, that, whole film. the whole film for, for an hour I do that. Oh, that's interesting. There's like a Spider-Man thing. Uncle story failed to stop burglar who eventually uh-huh. killed uncle. That is that is the Spider-Man is Spider-Man, story. Yeah. Okay, forget that. Doesn't own TV. That was like a little detail that we did. Buddhist. Right Buddhist. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had a whole thing where we thought he should be a Buddhist, um, which we didn't end up putting in because we didn't want to like try and cover that in such a kind of brief form. Yeah. But I think we spoke to Kevin Eldon, didn't we? Because he that's is a right. Buddhist. Yeah, Kevin's, Kevin's Buddhist. Yeah. yeah, and so he got some kind of like a Buddhist insight. Which we then never used. That's a nice one down there. Spectacularly anal. Which will <laughs> be the title of our next film. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is uh, this whole very dense page. I think it's all pretty much, um, pretty much talking about the first scene with like sort of um, Nicholas Angel and his three superiors. And there's a lot of things that we had in here, which um, things that you know, you can't just disappear, people. You know, the, they say the famous thing, you know, Robert McKee and Sid Field always go on about, like, the Chinatown script saying that you have to um, set up the main premise of the film in the opening scene. And in Chinatown, they have that famous line at the start uh, where they say, you, uh, you know, you've got to be rich to get away with murder. And, of course, that becomes the theme of the film. And in this, one of the themes is, is Angel saying, you can't just make people disappear. So that was our idea of like setting up the whole of the kind of the NWA story for later on by mentioning it in the first, um, you know, first uh, scene. Oh uh, yeah, so this is the this is the montage going into kind of that Sanford, the journey. Heading down. Oh uh, yeah, that was a joke that we we had this in there, but we cut it out because it was just too kind of like too much time spent on it. But uh, on the train we had somebody reading Jack's Return Home, in Get Carter. You see Michael Caine reading um, Farewell My Lovely in the first scene. And so our idea for a little in-joke was to get the, the novel on which Get Carter is based, which is called Jack's Return Home, and have somebody reading it on the train. <laughs> the White, the White Hearts, Hearts, which oh, became yeah. the swan. Which became the swan. So we got Mrs. Cooper, the, f- uh, the function room. Oh, what happened here? Oh, this is... that, that shows how little is in his hotel room. Yeah. You know? <laughs> we couldn't even fill a page for the hotel room. There's another little thing that you might notice on a, on a second or third watch is that there's a lot of owls in the film because the neighbourhood watch symbol is an owl and there were there were lots of little there were pictures that weren't there. Yeah, so there? owls in lots yeah. of owls in the hotel and owls in the Amdram bar and just the sense of there being eyes everywhere. First night in the Rose and Crown, there's a hoodie having a drink there. We <laughs> painted it up outside. It's funny. It's it's strange to look back at this point and and see just how you know how much it was in place before we even started writing the script, which we did in this in this very building. This is the, the first night at the front desk, you know, like um, car set up, so they're going to arrest the whole town, are you? Which is obviously the, the reference to Angel eventually does kind of arrest the whole town, or at least the, 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 the sort of luminaries of the town. Um, and all this stuff from the first day, 
Yeah, we really wanted to set up the idea that all of the kind of the villages you see very frequently, so it has that slight kind of, um, you know, almost like a sort of a, a Swiss clock kind of feel to it. You know, like yeah. the sort of like, you know, kind of Trumpton or Campbell Green of everybody comes out at the same time. And the idea that the, on the first jog in the morning when Nicholas runs around Sanford, you know, you see the same people. So it kind of looks like in those old TV shows like The Avengers where you'd have the same kind of like extras. You know, you'd only have, you know, I like the idea that, you know, all the people that he meets on the street are all significant. Stuart Wilson, Timothy Dalton, Mr. Yeah. Treacher, Lorraine. He doesn't meet a single person in the film that doesn't come back later. It's almost like they're the only ones on the street. I just must uh, draw attention to one of the first jokes that had Edgar and I crying, which never got into the film, was a line from Simon Skinner when Angel said, how did you know I'm a policeman? And uh, Skinner <laughs> says, your shorts are tight, I can see your helmet. Toodaloo! <laughs> <laughs> which we were, which we were going to put in, but because Simon was a sergeant, he ended up not wearing a helmet, so it didn't make a lot of sense. See, it wasn't because it was a crass joke. It was, it was we were a stickler for detail. Oh right. yeah, Mike TV. That's right. One of there was an idea for a character who was a, a, yeah, an officer called Mike, who they called Mike TV oh, because he'd, cool. he'd once been on Points West, doing like a little, uh, you know, piece to camera about an incident, and so he'd been on Points West, the local kind of. Uh, news for like all the five minutes and become the resident superstar and, and they call him hey, here's Mike TV and also he'd repeat his uh, he'd repeat telling? his quote wouldn't he that would That's be the right. idea uh, the pub lunch jumping in his grave and the moustache joke moustache joke I think the tea stops ah uh, this is uh, Nic the Nicholas conspiracy this is when we wrote out what he thinks is going on which is obviously wrong on learning the root of the profile so but etc etc lots of arrows Oh, so this is some kind of crazy flowchart of all the different kind of, uh, that's like a sort of bizarre family tree of all the different, um, you know, things to do with the conspiracy. You do arrows very well. Oh, there's a bit of film. Midsection, <laughs> Amdram murder. Mid midsection scenes. It's <laughs> fucking Smackdown! It's interesting there's things that didn't make it like in the finished thing, like we had a thing with rugby boys. Oh, it was yeah. going to be like a team of rugby boys that were bad. Yeah. We've got kind of like the swan. What was the, the wasp in hostage situation? What was that? That rings a bell. Wasp in a hostage situation, I don't know. Or wasn't it that Angel was allergic to wasps or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an odd little detail that we, we lost. Bit of a cinema. Oh, yeah, the NWA taken down. So we've got all of the things here of like the different kind of characters, some of which names changed and Steven how they... Stephen Stockwell turned into Simon Skinner. Yeah, absolutely. But even here, things like sort of Terence Weaver, which eventually became like Tom Weaver, Tom explodes in the landmines there. Yeah, impaled on the Vondel village. The hanging baskets, the ramming of the car, the overpowering by kids. A lot of the things are very similar. Ah, Nicholas. Ah, Nicholas and Victoria. That went. <laughs> Good gone, point. gone, gone. Irrelevant. Never happened. <laughs> Shootout in Sanford, the porters fight in the bar, Annette Roper, first floor window. All this was. Uh, Michael Messer, who was that? That's somebody. That... He was the cycling proficiency That's guy. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, didn't yeah. make any of the thing. So, oh, still to do. I right like this. It's our to-do list, and it, it, it's amazing to, to note that this is probably more and more stuff. But uh, the second of two flip charts, because I remember the first one had loads of stuff on, and here are lots of index cards with loads of stuff on. If you if you go through this, you can kind of see the entire the film. entire film in flip chart form. This is now in in the 21st century is now how they're going to release some films on the internet it's just <laughs> like that, so you can actually sort of just download index cards and then people don't actually have to make the thing. So you see, by the time we actually got here to Wells to write the film, we had all of this ready to go. So when we say we wrote it here, it's true in terms of the the first version of the screenplay, but this is what we kind of uh, kind of had as our, as our arsenal of ideas.